Hey everyone, this is Derek, author and webmaster of Gematronator.com. This video is one of a two-part series. In the other video, I'm going to be dissecting the numerology of Armando Galarraga's Imperfect Game, also called the Near Perfect Game, in which a pitcher achieved the rarest feat in all of pro sports. A perfect game, but there was just one problem. The umpire, who at the time was judged to have been the best umpire in the game, blew the call. It was easily one of, if not the single worst call in the history of the game, one any baseball fan will say they have simply never seen before. Perhaps the strangest thing of all was Galarraga's reaction. Instead of showing disbelief and frustration, his expression instead mirrored those of some of the worst crisis actors we see on television. Which makes it appropriate that his jersey dons the letter D everywhere, as he seems to be experiencing some duping delight. At the time, I didn't know pro sports were rigged, but this moment was one of several that stuck out to me and kept me wondering if they were. Fortunately, I've woken up since then and have been able to disseminate what this game truly was. A coded tribute to numerology and the Book of Revelation. If that sounds ludicrous to you, then that's good, because the manner in which these pro sports are scripted is ludicrous. While some of you may want to click away because it sounds so crazy, you're welcome to keep taking the blue pill. But this channel is about delivering the red pill, and what I will be sharing with you is deeply occulted knowledge that few people know about, including most of the actors in these stage shows we call athletic competitions. On this channel, I discuss the language of gematria, the practice of coding numbers into words. And if you're not familiar with the methods used to obtain these numbers, please check the description below for links to my instructional videos. Once you understand this system, you are able to apply it and see through the lies presented to us on a daily basis by our Kabbalistic federal government. Now to begin, let's take a look at a number of things the media would like you to think are coincidental, a word similar to the term conspiracy theorist, a phrase designed to shut down your critical thinking. The first ever perfect game in Major League Baseball history was thrown by a man named Lee Richmond. Lee Richmond was born on the date May 5th, or 5-5. That game was umpired by Foghorn Bradley. Foghorn Bradley was born in the year 1855. Richmond's perfect game was caught by catcher Charlie Bennett. Charlie Bennett retired with a total of 55 home runs. And notice how they say he played on five NL pennant winning teams and led the major leagues in fielding percentage by a catcher five times. The man often recognized as the best pitcher of all time is Cy Young. His real name was Denton Young, which is 55 in full reduction. Cy Young threw a perfect game. His fell on the date May 5th, 1904, or 5-5. The length of that game was an hour and 25 minutes. 125 is 5 times 5 times 5. Cy Young would then go on to die in the year 1955. So Cy Young died in 1955, and the th pitcher of the first ever perfect game died in the town of Toledo, Ohio. The umpire that blew the game for Armando Galarraga was Jim Joyce. Jim Joyce was born in Toledo, Ohio in the year 55. But it's not just the number 55 that keeps repeating itself. The 55th prime number is 257, and we see this all over as well. Lee Richmond, who hurled the first ever perfect game, retired with a batting average of 257. Catcher Charlie Bennett was born in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, which has a Jewish gematria value of 2,570. Armando Galarraga's playing career lasted from September 15th, 2007 to August 19th, 2012. That's just one day over 257 weeks. After Galarraga's near-perfect game from June 2nd, 2010, after the game was over, he had an ERA of 2.57. After that game, Galarraga and Jim Joyce teamed up to write a book about the game in which they both made a lot of money. This book is exactly 257 pages. Even the batter who got on base to ruin Armando Galarraga's perfect game 
That was Jason Donald, and he retired with a batting average of 257. 257 is the reverse gematria of total solar eclipse, which many of the events of Revelation are said to be related to, and we'll examine that in this video. Again, this is the 55th prime number, and in numerology, 55 is a very notable number. The word numerology has a reduction value of 55, but it's also used as a shorthand reference to the book of Revelation. First of all, 5 times 5 equals 25, which is the reduction value of the Hebrew word for Revelation. Also notice how 55 represents the intersection of the Fibonacci and triangular numbers. It's the tenth number of each sequence, and in Jewish gematria, Revelation equals 1010. Basic numerology ignores zeros, so 1010 is directly related to the number 11. 11 squared is 121. That's the English ordinal value of the word Revelation. Now check this out. If you measure from the date of the first ever perfect game, thrown on June 12, 1880, to the date written 10-10, October 10th of that same year, you get a span of 121 days. And October 10th, 1880 was a significant date in history. It marked the birth of Elizabeth Christ Trump, the matriarch of the Trump family and grandmother of our current U.S. president. As for this being the year 1880, a year with an 88 in the middle, both Elizabeth and Trump, using the alphabetic order, sums to 88. 88 is also the reverse gematria of the word beast, which Revelation reveals the number of. Her full name in reverse sums to 202. This matches the ordinal value of total solar eclipse. But if that's not enough to make you wonder, factor in that Elizabeth Trump died on the date June 6th, or 6 slash 6, in the year 66. And in satanic gematria, Elizabeth Trump equals 666. 666 is the 36th triangular number, and 36 is the number Satanic Gematria, which also sums to 666 in this cipher, begins at. When decoding Bible Gematria, you'll find the most relevance in the King James Version. King James equals 404 in Satanic, the number of verses in Revelation, the book which reveals 666 as the number of the beast. The King James Version of the Bible is the Masonic Bible, and the game of baseball has all sorts of ties to masonry, beginning with the shape of the field, which resembles the square and compass emblem found on all Masonic lodges. Higher levels of masonry practice gematria, and clear evidence of that comes from simply typing out the word baseball, which has 18 players on the field, 27 outs per team, and 54 outs per game. They also play 162 games in a major league season. Baseball actually has this number in two different ciphers. In English Extended, a cipher which most closely mirrors the ancient Greek and Hebrew gematria charts, perfect game sums to 432. And the man who threw the first perfect game, his full name was John Lee Richmond, which also sums to 432 in this same method. 432 is a number connected to 666, as when you add it to its inverse, 234, 666 is the sum. And look how old John Lee Richmond was when he threw his perfect game, 277 months and 7 days. I mean, what are the odds of this? Well, 2777 is the 404th prime number, again, that's the number of verses in Revelation. Richmond made his debut the prior year for a team called the Boston Red Stockings. And when you reverse the alphabetic order, Boston Red Stockings sums to 2,777. Also notice that he retired on October 4th, 1886. That means his career lasted exactly seven years and seven days. Richmond wound up finishing his career with the same team who had moved to Cincinnati by playing just three games the last of which occurred on October 4th, 1886. Cincinnati equals 254 in Jewish gematria, and this is a very significant number in the measurement of time, 
related to Anita Sideris, the Greek name for the metonic cycle. Anita Sideris sums to 277 and 88 in the reverse order, and October 4th is the 277th day on the calendar, leaving 88 in the year. The metonic cycle represents a common multiple of the solar year and the lunar phase. It lasts 19 years, which equates to almost exactly 235 lunar phases. Add 19 to 235 and you get 254. This is likely where the gematria for the words time and light come from in English. Lee Richmond equals 254 in Jewish gematria. And his catcher for this game, Charlie Bennett, was born in Newcastle, Pennsylvania, which sums to 254 in the alphabetic order. But check this out. His full name, which is Charles Wesley Bennett, sums to 1919 in Jewish and 235 in ordinal, reminding us of the 19 years and 235 synodic months in the metonic cycle. The game was umpired by Foghorn Bradley, whose real name was George Bradley. George Bradley in the reverse order equals 227, a very significant number I talk about in just about every video. 22 divided by 7 gives you a close approximation of pi, the formula used to get a circle. It's also the 227th verse in Revelation, which first mentions the mark of the beast. And in Jewish gematria, George Bradley sums to 666. What really stands out about this game, though, is that it took place on the date June 12th, which can be written 12 slash 6. And look at the time of the game. This game took an hour and 26 minutes. It was won by the team from Worcester, which in English ordinal sums to 126, also in the Kabbalah, which we'll look at soon. Revelation 6.12 is one of the more intriguing verses of the book. In English ordinal, this sums to 1,192. This is similar to the gematria for the word eclipse. Total lunar eclipse, also 192 in the Jewish order. And this is the only verse in Revelation to mention what seems to be like a solar eclipse, with the sun becoming black, and a lunar eclipse, with the moon becoming as blood, perhaps referring to it turning red as it often does during a total lunar eclipse. This is the 108th verse in the book, and that's another very significant number. The width of the sun is approximately 108 times the width of the earth, and the distance to the sun is approximately 108 times the width of the sun. The word geometry in both the alphabetic and reverse orders sums to 108, just like full moon, 108. When you spell out 666 as it's written in Revelation 600, 3 score, and 6, it sums to 143 Jewish reduced. And lately I've been talking a lot about how the circle is actually the mark of the beast. In Hebrew gematria, circle sums to 143. And the team that Lee Richmond played for, the Worcesters, that was actually their nickname. They weren't just from Worcester, they were named the Worcesters. This sums to 143 Jewish ordinal and 1403 extended. The United States was founded and created all around the numbers of the circle, and a lot of it points at these two solar eclipses that create an X over the nation, the first occurring this year, 2017, and the second eclipse occurring in the year 2024. These two total eclipses occur a span of 2,423 days apart. 2423 is the 360th prime number, 360, the number of degrees in a circle. In Hebrew, the United States of America sums to that 227 number, just like total eclipse in Hebrew gematria. So this 143 number for circle was scripted deeply into the career of Lee Richmond. First of all, there's more evidence of the significance of this number in the birth and death of Elizabeth Trump, who was born in Kalstadt and died in Manhasset. Both of those cities have a reverse gematria of 143. Lee Richmond was born exactly one year, four months, and three days before the next total solar eclipse. And the date on which he threw his perfect game fell a span of 143 years 
and 302 days before that second eclipse in 2024. Again, 143, the Hebrew gematria for the word circle. As far as the 32, that's the English reduction value of the word circle. And look at Lee Richmond's win-loss record from college. He finished with a record in his last year of 32 and 32. And in this case, 143 factors down to 11 times 13. 11 and 13 are two of three numbers that sum to 99 when written out in either English ordinal or the reverse order. This also happens to be the gematria of perfect game using the alphabetic order. The third number to sum to 99 is 44, and that happens to be the ordinal gematria of the word circle in Hebrew. And look at his birthday in relation to the two previous total solar eclipses. He was born one month, ten days after one, like the number 11. And he was born one year and 30 days, which is also exactly 13 months, after another total solar eclipse. Even the year Richmond was born in is significant. He was born in 1857, and 857 is one of the more significant numbers in relation to the mathematics of the moon. First off, 857 is the maximum number of days between two total solar or lunar eclipses. In the description below, I'll link to a page that describes the Dresden Codex lunar series, and this discusses a period of 857 solar years, which equates to almost exactly 11,457 sidereal months and 10,600 synodic months. The name Lee Richmond in the reverse order sums to 191, this is the Jewish gematria of total solar eclipse. His birth numerology also reflects these numbers of 67, 85, and 22, while total solar eclipse in reduction gematria sums to 67 and 85 with the S exception, and in the alphabetic order it's 202. And the date June 12th, when Lee Richmond threw his perfect game, that leaves 202 days left in the year. But what's most striking is that the Jewish gematria of total solar eclipse and extended 704, this perfect game came exactly 704 days before the next total solar eclipse. This game was also 21 weeks and 6 days after the last total solar eclipse, and 6 times 6 times 6 equals 216. But what's really striking about this is Lee Richmond's birthday in relation to the second American total solar eclipse in 2024. He would be exactly 60,969 days old on that date, and 69 is the ordinal gematria of the word eclipse and circles. Also the name John Lee sums to 69. A quick deep dive into a little more gematria reveals all sorts of relations to eclipse numbers. First of all, Worcester sums to 1313 in Jewish gematria, a lot like how total eclipse is 130 ordinal. And anytime you see the WW, MM, or EE initials, this is often a nod to the number 33. They beat the team from Cleveland, one of just a handful of big cities in the country with 33 reduction gematria, like the word eclipse. In fact, the team name Cleveland Blues sums to 47 and 137 in reduction and ordinal, just like Total Eclipse. Total Eclipse in Jewish gematria is 463, which is the reverse value of Worcester Agricultural Fairgrounds, the site of this game. In the Kabbalah, Worcester Worcesters gives us that 257 I started the video off with, also a 901 match in the mathematical ciphers. The catcher was Charlie Bennett, and he's got more coding than we've already seen, with the 130 in Jewish ordinal, and his full name, using that same method, is 227. In the Kabbalah, it's 283, matching the Jewish gematria of the moon, and see how his full name, in English extended and squares, both line up to moon gematria from the Hebrew language. And then one more glance at the umpire, Foghorn Bradley. He's got a bunch of eclipse numbers as well, both in Hebrew and English. With capital letters, his name sums to 202, like total solar eclipse. 
And in reduction, his name sums to 69 and 66 using the Jewish and reverse reduction methods, syncing up with Eclipse in both the English and Jewish order. Lee Richmond, even born and dead by the numbers of Revelation, he was born in the town of Sheffield, Ohio, which sums to 59 and 121, the same as Revelation in the same two methods. And then he died in Toledo, Ohio, a town which I've talked about in previous videos. It's got four O's, you know, just like an 88, four circles. Toledo, Ohio sums to 44 and 112 in multiple methods. Circle in Hebrew, as we saw, was 44, and using the reverse alphabetic order, it's 112. He also died 149 days after his 72nd birthday. Revelation in the reverse order, 149. And his name in reverse reduction, John Lee Richmond, equals 72, the age at which he died. Now, would you believe that even though it took almost 24 full years to throw the third perfect game in baseball history, the second one was thrown just five days after the first by a guy named John Montgomery Ward. Ward was better known by his nickname, Monty Ward, and in Jewish gematria, Monty Ward sums to 1210, again, just like the ordinal value of Revelation. His name using triangular numbers sums to 999, a lot like an upside-down 666. And look at his birth date, March 3rd, or 3 slash 3, again, like Eclipse, his name, Monty Ward, in the alphabetic order sums to 113, like the factors of 33, 11 times 3. His full name, John Montgomery Ward, alphabetic order, sums to 238. This is the Kabbalah gematria of Anita Sideris, and the moon's average distance to the earth, 238 plus thousand miles. Ward made his debut on July 15, 1978, that's the 196th day of the year, leaving 169 on the calendar. He was from Belafonte, which is 96. Pi equals 69 in Jewish gematria. And the date that he threw his perfect game came three months, 14 days after his birthday. Again, 314, the first three digits of Pi. The date of that perfect game, June 17th, is the 169th day of the year. Remember, he made his debut with 169 days left in the year. Now, 169 has a square root of 13. Monty Ward equals 130 in the reverse order. And 41 reduction. 41 is the 13th prime number. And he died in the town of Augusta, Georgia, which is 1300 using triangular numbers. His last appearance was on September 29th, 1894, the date leaving 93 days in the year. The word time has double gematria of 93. This is also the gematria of Saturn, the keeper of time. But this means his career lasted 16 years, 10 months, and 6 days. Time in Hebrew reduction equals 16. And in the English alphabet, pi equals 16 reduced. Pi, of course, beginning with the letter P, the 16th letter in the alphabet. The year Monty Ward was born in is also a significant moon number. He was born in the year 1860. And there's another moon cycle which lasts 18.6 years, at which point there occurs a lunar standstill. This man's life also scripted by the numbers of the moon. Moon in Hebrew sums to 38, and the 38th triangular number is 741, linking the moon to Saturn in the English alphabet, this perfect game was thrown when he was at the age 7,411 days old. He would later die at the age of 23,741 days. Also note how he died at the age of 65. This is the reduction value of the word Anita Sideris, which is 393 in Jewish. And the town in which he was born in, Belafonte, sums to 393 in English extended. Next, let's look at the pitcher who threw the first perfect game in the modern era, Cy Young. Cy Young was born in Gilmore, which is appropriate. Both of these have gematria of 79 and 110, just like the word pitcher. Now, recall from earlier, Revelation had that 1010 gematria in Jewish. Well, Cy Young in Jewish gematria sums to 101 ordinal and 1100 extended. And this man played his final 
major league game on the date 10-11 of the year, 1911. Cy Young with capital letters taken into account sums to 162. That was our baseball number from the beginning of the video. And in the Kabbalah, he has double gematria of 108. Remember, 108 stitches on a baseball. We just had the end of the 108-year curse of the Cubs. The word baseball equals 108 in Frank Baconis. Cy Young in Frank Baconis sums to 218. That matches the ordinal gematria of his full name, Denton True Young. And in Hebrew gematria, the word for moon equals 218. As we saw before, it's also 38 ordinal. Cy Young in reduction equals 38. His perfect game came exactly 47 years to the day after Lee Richmond, who threw the first perfect game, was born. And look at how old Cy Young was when he threw this perfect game. 37 years and 37 days. The word perfect equals 37 in full reduction. His full name, Denton True Young, equals 1321 in Jewish. That's the 216th prime number, 216, the product of 6 cubed. But look at this. Cy Young died at the age of 88. His name in reverse extended equals 880. And he was born on the 88th day of the year, the date that leaves 277 remaining. Remember, Lee Richmond played his last game on the date that leaves 88 days in the year, which was the 277th day of the year. These two numbers found in the gematria of Anita Sidoris. The planet Saturn in the Jewish order sums to 88, and when extended, it sums to 511. Measuring from the date Cy Young made his debut to the date of his last appearance in 1911 is exactly 1,105 weeks, the reflection of 511. And his birth town of Gilmore, Ohio, in Satanic Gematria equals 511. And look at how many wins he retired with. 511 wins. He had a total of 2,803 strikeouts in his career. This matches the Jewish gematria of the moon, again, 283. Last point on Cy Young is that he died in the town called New Comerstown, Ohio, which is 234. Remember, this was the English gematria of the term perfect game, 432. New Comerstown itself equals 187, like total eclipse in the reverse order. Denton True Young also with this value. But what's most interesting is that Cy Young in trigonal sums to 1140, similar to 1104, the value of total eclipse in that same cipher. And he would go on to die on the date November 4th, written 1104. And really, it seems like all these men who ever threw a perfect game are coded. And this is the last one I'll look at. His name was Adrian Joss, which sums to 38 and 110, just like Cy Young. Adrian Joss has that 218, Frank Baconis. Trigonal, his name is 888. And look at his name in squares, 1,666. The number of the beast, as it's written in Revelation, 600, three score and six equals 313. This man died at a very young age of 31. This was exactly 30 months and 13 days after his perfect game. And he died at the age of 31 years and 3 days. Adrian was born in the town of Woodland, which sums to 88. And Woodland, Wisconsin equals 808 in Satanic Gematria. This death also came a span of 132 weeks and 1 day after his perfect game. Remember 1321, this was a number found in the Gematria of Cy Young's full name, the 216th prime number. So I'll cut this video off right there. Check the description for links to the other video in this two-part series where I take a close look at the imperfect game and how it too is coded by the numbers of Revelation and the 2024 total solar eclipse. Take care and God bless.